And wedding time rolls around for Hendrik. Is he finally tying the knot? Hello, hello. Could the unthinkable be happening? How else could one explain car talks, a vowed bachelor, doing the traditional aimless pace and feeble fumble outside what looks suspiciously like a chapel, albeit a rather rustic one? All dressed to the nines in tuxedo, a fresh shampoo, and shoes buffed to perfection? Hmm, things are looking, well, let's say interesting. There can only be one reason why a white Rolls Royce would be easing silently into view on a bright sunny day. And that would be to deliver the goods, so to speak. Oh, come on, Hendrik, relax. Uh-huh. Think of a few appropriate tunes that could be played right now. Something about going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Cut, cut, cut. Ah. <sighs> oh well, we might as well fill in the time outside by taking a look at this grand old lady. This is a Rolls Royce Silver Cloud 3, and in our mind, it's the last of the truly stately Rolls Royces. These were built between 1962 and 1966, and apparently 2,300 of them were sold. After this, the rather boxy Silver Shadow replaced it and was made for a couple of decades. But this is a true carriage for the rich and famous, complete with all the pampering accoutrements needed for an afternoon picnic or um, a wedding. I can feel another familiar tune in my head coming on, but never mind. Easy does it, Hendrik. That's the ticket. Just the kind of care and attention we'd expect from a man like you. And so, another one bites the... <laughs> Hold on! He's been having us on! <laughs> Again, he did switch places with the limo driver, so maybe he managed to cut a deal a moment or two before he was supposed to say, I do. Well, certainly I do worry there for a while, didn't I? But now I am in the back seat of the Rolls Royce with the lovely bride, Shona. Um, cheers. Thank you. So do you like it at the back of a, of a Rolls? I always like it at the back of a Rolls Royce. <laughs> yeah. But I, I really want to know, what is this fear of you oh. getting married? <laughs> now let's talk about the weather. Beautiful day outside, I think. <laughs> oh, just getting back to the car. It's, it's just beautiful, the, uh, the finish inside, the softness of the seat. It is. It's very comfortable. It's classy. And you have to have champagne. Of course. When this silver cloud was built, the partnership created by Charles Stuart Rolls and Frederick Henry Royce had been in existence for 60 years. Unfortunately, Rolls was killed in Britain's first airplane accident in 1910, but Royce's obsession with quality still pervades the firm today. Well, Ferdy, here we are. Uh, the two guys have got hitched today. <laughs> but now I'm the man behind the wheel. Yeah. And I must say, this is really a, a dream come true, driving a Rolls Royce for the first well, time. I'm, I'm glad. It must be magnificent to be able to do this so often. I mean, do you still get that special Yes, I feeling? do. If I'm, if I'm feeling down, I just take it for a drive and um, you feel much better. What kind of reaction do you get from people? I, 
I would say it's a friendly car. A lot of people, um, they, they make space, especially if you have a, um, a bride in the car. Mm. People look, um, people next to the road at the taxi ranks, they wave, yeah. and, and it's really, it's a friendly car. I must say, it is, it's lovely to drive. It's so smooth. So quiet, I mean, that is obviously what the Rolls is all Yes, about. Um, at, when this car was new in 1963, it was known as one of the quietest cars mm. on the road. It is strange because, you know, you've got quite a lot of play on the steering wheel and of course the brakes, you've got to <laughs> get used to the brakes, it's not servo assisted? No, it's not. Um, at slow speeds, it, it, it just it doesn't brake as fast as, as a modern car. Although, um, yeah, one gets used to it. It's, it, it, yeah, it takes a bit of um, pedal power to, to stop the two tons. <laughs> it's two tons, you must never forget that. It doesn't have the world's smallest turning circle either. No, it doesn't. It's, uh, yeah, one has to, to get used to it. And she's quite willing. She, the, it's, it's a 6.2 litre V8. Mm. And um, yeah, if you put your foot on the petrol, she goes. She just doesn't stop that. <laughs> That's the problem. Eh? Well, thank you very much. It's been great driving well with the car. Thank you for the uh, privilege of being in the passenger seat today. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did sitting here. Quite a car, the clouds, and good for 180 kilometers an hour too, according to the road tests in 1963.